Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Bee Burns Cradle. Today I have Mardina Amethyst. She is my Azalea Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. And she was reborn by Wendy of Wee Bee Dolls. And this is, I'm very happy with this. This is her Passy Clip that I made. I do have a tutorial on how I made these. I use jute though. But um, this is what it looks like when you have like the name in in them. So this is Mardina's. Is this part's a prop? She does have a magnetized right here. So yay! And I'm here today to do Suzanne's Valentine's tag. So welcome everyone to the channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I know I have quite a few subscribers and um, I would love for you to listen to these 10 questions and my answers to them while I change Mordia into a Valentine's outfit. So for her outfit, I have this beautiful velvet dark rose velvet dress with lace trim at the bottom and along her chest stomach area she has lace as well with um this is like a ribboned rose and it's tassels down so it's so pretty and so formal looking i'm hoping that this will fit her it might be a little bit too big, but I bet you she'll look gorgeous in it. Um, I am pairing it with this bonnet. It's also a dark rose um, burgundy bonnet. I'm not sure if they go together, though, honestly. This is by Jilly. And this is by... Yeah, they're different. This is a Disney bonnet and there's that if you can see the bag and by the way eric is here with his girlfriend so if you hear anything that's just them so these two do not go together but i think they will look lovely together and then i have leggings which will be really too big on her but that's okay and i found these booties. <laughs> where I live, it's so cold today. It is definitely winter where I am today. So, while I change her, or put this on her, there are 10 questions. And the first one says, let's see, I wrote them down on cards. Are you a romantic? Um, I could be, but generally, I'm just a caring person. Um, I don't really care for the drivel. <laughs> so, I mean, of course every once in a while, but not generally. Um, I am just a mostly caring person at heart. Um, I do love romance, of course. Who doesn't? But I also agree that humor should be a part of life as well. And not always serious. <laughs> These are big on her, but it's okay. Number two says, is your partner a romantic? And he is a lot like me. Um, of course, we love our romance every once in a while but the most part we're just caring and nurturing and protective of each other um of course we love each other but as for pure romance we're not always romantic in fact we might joke about that but he can be but it's not a it's not a, a big trait, which I'm fine with, because neither am I. So, uh, this thing is caught. 
under her. So sweet. A little bit of fluff. Oh my goodness. I think it looks <laughs> darling on her. See how this back is. Um, yeah, I'll just do up these buttons. Guys, in fact, hear how he just, like, for instance, my birthday is coming up and he is buying me a fairy silicone by ashton drake and he knows i love magical fairies and the fantasy world and he knows that i would really really enjoy that for my birthday which is he is right so that's how he can be oh so sweet So let's see how this bonnet will work with this. They, they're they not supposed to be paired together, but I think they look great paired together. Aww. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see it's a mini mouse. <laughs> she looks great. And by the way, Francis bought me this too. For Valentine's Day many years ago. He is a romantic at Valentine's Day. He will buy me like stuffies. Things that I love. Like this is a little hard. Every Valentine's Day he sure is to buy me girly girl things he always says that they are. He bought me this years ago. It's a baby boop, baby boop rattle, which I love. And I thought would look really good with this. So let's try on these booties. In the harsh winter where we are. I forgot to get her some socks. I feel awkward trying to put on these gloves. It's been a while, you guys, since I've been here. I guess I could undo this pin belt. Be better. <laughs> there. Oh my goodness. There she is. Oh, she's so sweet. I gotta hold her. <laughs> so here's Medina. I will do the rest of the questions sitting here and holding her. She's so cuddly. Oh, it's been a while, you guys, since I've been in here. I've been working a lot. And my birthday is next week. I can't wait. My new baby should be here within... The next three to five days. Can't wait. Okay. So grab the card. Number three. What is the most romantic gift you've ever received? Oh, a lot of them. I remember. Uh, and they're all by Francis. He gave me a promise ring every year on our dating anniversary. He would give me um, a necklace by a very expensive jeweler who's no longer around in town it was a like a mom and pop jewelry sh store and now that they're closed they're retired um it's called Watier Julie's jewelers oh my goodness <laughs> seemed like I've been talking in French forever but <laughs> um 
But there's so many things, but the most romantic that he surprised me with was probably the promise ring. Um, number four, what is the worst? <laughs> um, I can't really think of a worst gift. I appreciate them all. Any gift that I receive, I really appreciate. Mm, I remember I was disappointed one year. One year, I really wanted an engagement ring. And he bought me instead. It was a, a camcorder. <laughs> I mean, I was disappointed, but I still appreciate it. And I still use it <laughs> a lot. Not now. I record now with my phone, but... <laughs> There were times when I was disappointed, but it wasn't the worst gift. Anyways. Um, number five, what's the most romantic song? There are many songs that I really do enjoy, but I must admit the very first song that I still love and that I fell in love with is a song called Years From Now by Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. I know that they're not quite the traditional, like, romantic band or anything, but that particular song, I always used to envision that song being played at a wedding of mine, if I ever had one. I did have a wedding, but many years ago, but it was just a small, I never had that white dress, beautiful, big wedding. I never had that. So, um, but I used to always envision that when I was in my, like, early 20s, and I still love the song, so, and I showed it to him, too, Francis, by the way, and he also loves it quite a lot, but it's called Years From Now by Dr. Hook. <laughs> um, what's the rom most romantic film? I was trying to think of one, and... Of course, I always loved the movie Dirty Dancing, but um, movies like Memoirs of a Geisha, where there's a tragedy, I'm I'm always that's my favorite kind of movies, like survival type movies, and uh, things like that with a twist within them, like a romantic twist within them, like Memoirs of a Geisha. That's what I really really like. I also enjoy the romantic comedy movies, not as much, but, and I'm not huge into the romance movies itself, but I must say that Memoirs of a Geisha is quite, it's probably my favorite. Um, there's an also one, it's called The Guru by, and it's not The Love Guru. I never watched that movie, it's just called The Guru, and it's a Bollywood Americanized Bollywood movie and it has um that's a really cheesy movie but <laughs> the, the comedy in it is like really cheesy but I, that's what I really like the ending of that movie is if you ever search on YouTube it's called The Guru and the wedding scene at the end of the movie that is my most favorite ever even more than Dirty Dancing even more than Memoirs of Geisha. <laughs> that scene is my most favorite. And the speech that he says during that scene. <sighs> it's very touching. <laughs> um, have you ever had a Valentine's card that you didn't know who sent it? During university? Yes. During school age time? Yes. Um, but not my adult years. No. <laughs> Number eight. Have you sent Valentine cards? During school, all the time. During university, yes. And as my adult life, to my mom and to my sons, I will. Um, and of course, classes. But to my regular friends, I mean, just a simple online greeting, I will but not an actual card. Number nine, do you like romantic books? <laughs> no, 
No, I had, I have a best friend. I was her best friend since she was two years old. I was four years old. I'm turning 50 and she's 48 and we're still best friends. And she still reads those romantic books. I think, I think it's because when we were teenagers and young adults, she would read that book all day. And maybe I was like, uh, what's the word? Not jealous of the books or anything, but kind of like, why are you reading those? And I tried reading one. Drivel. <laughs> no. No. Um, it's like a soap opera. Man, I'm not into soap operas. They're too cheesy. Although, I must say, there was one time when I was so bored I got into a soap opera. I think it was Another World back in the day. And when I can get in them, yes, I can be addicted to them, but for the most part, I do not enjoy romantic books or TV soap operas. No. Number 10. Do you like romantic poetry? Um, I would say more so yes. I'm not really addicted to them or anything. It's not like my life will revolve around like, you know, daydreaming of all this stuff. Um, I'm not like that, but I do enjoy the poetry. Um, movies more so. Uh, not really books. I mean, I have to read books. Like, as part of my job as a teacher, I'm always reading resource books and study guides and curriculum documents. And uh, so I'm not much into reading anymore. But when it does look at my Dina... Aww. Here's the little boots. Here's her. <laughs> so, yes, guys, I'm going to go for now. Sorry if it was a short video. It was just, um, I feel a little awkward with people around. Uh, his room is just like right beside this one. So. So anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. I can't wait to show you my fairy baby. She is a new Ashton Drake partial silicone fairy baby. And her dress lights. It has the lights in it, which is so cool. And apparently she wears wings. And the wings can be open or folded down. And they're removable, too. So I can't wait. I even have a name picked out for her. Anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here, Suzanne. Thank you so much for the fun tag. Um, normally, I ramble through all these, but today I was trying not to ramble so much. So, anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful weekend. And as always, until next time, bye, guys. Bye.